you are standing at a crossroad. The direction you take today determines your future. Choose wisely. Should I propose to her now, or should I wait and do so when I get back from Abuja next week? I really can't wait to pop the question to her. Annabelle, will you marry me? And I will watch her smile and say, yes, I will marry you. Maybe I should just wait and do so when I get back from Abuja. Yeah. Let me just do so. When I get back. Why are you staring at me like that? Because you're so, so, so. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to make me happy? Oh, come on, I'm just saying the truth. <laughs> Nothing more. <laughs> well, nice try. Nice try? Mm -hmm. Okay, someone doesn't seem so happy I'm going to Abuja. Have you read my mind? In all honesty, I'm not happy at all. Baby, come on. You sound as if I'm traveling out of your life. It's just business. You know, we're trying to get this contract and we just have to go there. It doesn't make any economic sense for you to come along with but me. But babe, I would have been able to get my ticket. Oh, baby, I know. But first of all, I'm not flying. You know, I have phobia for, for, for flights. So I'm going on a road trip with the boys. We're driving to Abuja. And uh, these guys, you know, we just met. We're trying to link up for this contract. I promise you, by next week I'll be back. All right, fine, I miss you. I wish you too, you know that. You know what? I have a surprise for you. When I get back from my bougie, I'm going to tell you to, I'm going to tell you to, okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to have a tell surprise for you. Baby, just wait. Just tell me now, you know it, I hate suspense. Yeah, suspense won't kill you. What is gonna kill you is what I'm gonna do to you right now.
Hey, babe, what's up? I'm so sorry that I'm just calling you now. Yes, your network was bad. Oh, yes. Uh, the vehicle is overheating, so we're trying to fix it. Oh, sure, sure. I will, I will keep you posted, okay? Please take good care of yourself. I will call you again soon. Yes? Oh, I will call you again soon. <laughs> I love you too, babe. Okay, bye. Well, I think I should call my woman too. I mean, after the call you just made. Nada, I just called to check on you, see what you're doing. I'm just sitting down here thinking of what to cook. Should I help you? <laughs> Thank you, but I don't need that help. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to let you know that uh, we had this breakdown on the road. I think the car is overheating, so we um, just stopped so it cools down and then we put some water inside. Really? Okay, just, you guys should try and fix it, okay? Safe trip. Yeah, 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 for sure. Well, someone is sounding like they miss me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to love missing you already. <laughs> I miss you too, baby. And I will see you soon, okay? All right. Love you. Bye. And babe, don't do what you know that you'll not be proud to tell me, okay? Bye. Papa. You try it. Eh? Kayaki, go try him. Is that your wife? No, my my girlfriend, but I am planning on proposing to her once I get back. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I mean, we've been together for about two years, and I, I strongly believe that she's the one. I love her so much. Yeah, I mean, what, what else to do than to pop the question? That is a good thing. You see, marriage will be so beautiful if every woman is as wonderful as my wife. Your wife? Oh, you're married? Yes, of course. Okay. I have been married for about seven years now. Seven years? Yeah. Oh. How many children do you have? Hmm, well, none yet. Still waiting on board. To give us one, so. Yeah. I mean, your wife is very, very lucky. <laughs> I mean, the way you talk about her, seven years, she hasn't given you a child, and you still speak about her with so much love, so much affection, so much admiration. She is blessed to have you, man. Look, I love my wife with passion. Besides, it is not our fault if we don't have a child yet. The doctor said we are fine, that there's nothing wrong, wrong with any of us. All we need to do is patience. Hmm. We shall have our own children at first time. Hmm. Well, that's true. Nice to meet you and be on this trip with you, Francis Uzoma. Same here, Richard. It's a pleasure. <laughs> the car is not starting. Oh my gosh. I don't understand this guy. Start the car. We don't have battery problem. We have the car was overheating. Yeah. 
I must say you're pretty lucky to have gotten out with just a broken arm. Don't oh, worry, you'll be fine. Right. Thank you, Doctor. Hello? Who is that? Hello? Oh. Who is it? Where, where am I? Hello? Hello? Who's talking there? You are at the hospital. Hospital? Yes. A hospital? Are, are you are you the doctor? Yes, I'm Dr. Sam. Now tell me how are you feeling? Doctor? I can't see anything. I, I, I can't see a thing. What is happening? My, my entire body is paining me. Calm down. <sighs> you, you'll be fine. Uh, you'll be okay. And I've uh, put you on a very strong analgesic, so you're going to be okay. And you're on bandage, so you don't need to be scared. But doctor, why, why, why is everything just dark to me? Huh? I, I, I can't see anything, doctor. What, what is going on? When you were brought in here, you were bleeding from the eyes. So, in order to stop the bleeding, we had to place bandage on your face. I can see that there's a lot of improvement. But let me let me take off this bandage. Are you still up? Huh? Uh, doctor? Are you still up? Uh, uh, oh! Uh, doctor! Oh, my leg! My leg! Oh, my leg! Doctor, what happened to my leg? Oh, my leg is really paining me. Okay, better. You are not bleeding anymore. Okay, I'm glad. Look, you feel good now. Doctor, why is the place dark? Why is everything still dark? You mean you can't see me? Doctor, the place is dark. I, I, the place is dark. I can't see anything. Richard, this place is not dark. Who is that? Doctor, who is that? It's me, Emeka. Emeka? Emeka? Emeka, I can't see anything. Mm. The, the place is dark, Emeka. I, I, I can't see anything. Richard, this place is not dark. It is very bright. Doctor, what is happening to my eyes? Why just, can't I see anything? Just calm down. Calm down. Let me get the ophthalmologist to check. Let's know what the problem is. I'll be back. Um, thank you, doctor. Doctor, please. Oh, do something. Oh. You'll be fine, Richard. Amaka, I hope yeah. nothing bad happened to you. I'm okay. You my, okay? My arm got damaged. Oh, I have a fracture in my right arm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm okay. Thank God. But, but, but have you have you heard from Francis? Uh, where is Francis? I've not heard from Francis. I don't know where he is. What? I don't know. Ah, Michael, you, you have to find out too. Yes. You have to find out what happened to Francis. I'll check back. Check around and and let you know. Michael, please. Mecca, please, yeah, please, find out what happened to Francis, okay? Yes. Ask the doctors, ask, ask everybody, ask if they brought Francis to this hospital. Yes, I have to do that. Okay. I'll get back to you. Oh, God. Help me, you. Help me, God. Please, help me, God. Help me, God. Mecca, take it easy, huh? Yeah. You'll be fine. I guess the doctors. We'll rectify the issue. Huh? <sighs> I can't see anything, man. I can't see anything.
from someone. Is this Francis Uzoma? Let me go. Francis. Richard asked me to come and check, see how you are doing. Hey, Richard. Yes. Is he in this hospital? He's in this hospital. But he cannot move freely. His leg is badly hurt. Oh. Richard. Hey. What happened to your hand? Oh, it's just a fracture. Oh, oh, please. Tell Richard that I'm in a very bad shape. Do you have a phone with you? I need to call my wife to know where I am. I don't even know where I dropped my phone. Nurse, please, can he use your phone to make call the call? You have to make call outside. Oh, okay. You want to call your wife, eh? Okay. Zero. Eight. Zero. Five. Three. Two. Seven. Seven, zero, zero. No problem. Uh, let me call her. Please, you have to go. No problem. I, I, I'll be back, oh. Jai. Francis, oh, Francis. Hey. Hello? Yes. Is this uh, Francis Uzoma's wife? Yeah. I just got a call. He wasn't involved in an accident. Uh, I'm on my way to the hospital. Please just take care of the shop, okay? Oh, Mr. Richard, are you awake? Doctor, you're back. Yes, I am. What about the eye doctor? She's here with me. You, you, you said she? Uh, yes, she. Uh, do you have an issue with her? No, I just want to see you again. Uh, that's fine. So I will leave her to examine you while I go to attend to other patients. Okay, doctor. Attend to other patients. Okay, Mr. Richard. Now, let me look into your eyes. This is what I want you to do for me. Open your eyes very well. Can you see my hand? I can't see anything. Everything is just dark. All I see, all, all I see is darkness. Mm. Uh, did any material or substance get into your eyes in the accident? Doctor, I don't know. I was wearing my glasses. Do you feel pains in your eyes? A lot of pain. Pain in my, my, my eyes are itching. I thought as much. I'm observing some scar tissue in your eyes, and it seems some uh, opaque film is already forming around your corner, and I think that is what is obscuring your vision. Doctor, what is the meaning of all those things you are saying? Are you, are you trying to say I'm, I'm blind? Well, from all practical aspects, yes, you are. I'm very sorry. What? Oh my God. So you see, I'm blind. Oh, God. Doctor, is there nothing that can be done? Well, there could be a chance for cornea transplant. But we'll have to conduct uh, extensive tests. We'll have to get some brain tissue from a donor to fix some brain tissue that works with the eyes. That's the optic nerve. Optic nerve? Mm. Opt optic nerve and con cornea transplant? Yes. Is, is, that, is that the things that can help me now? Quite well indeed. Only if we can get a suitable donor and your eyes accept them, then you are fine. But the problem is getting a donor. You think a donor, 
Donna, is it is it difficult to get a donor? Hmm, yes. Uh, especially in this part of the world. Hey, doctor. Doctor. Is there nothing that can be done? So you're telling me that I'm going to be blind. It's impossible to get a cornea donor. Well, the answer is 50-50. You might get a donor today or in the next 10 years. Or you may never get a donor. Uh, the procedure is this. When a donor dies, we have to take out the eyes instantly and use the cornea at once. And you know, we can't just pluck out the eyes of any dead person. Is it that the person has already given us uh, the permission before he or she dies? Or the relatives has already given us the permission to do so? Let's just hope we get a donor soon. So meanwhile, let me go get you an eye drop to stop the pain and the itching. To be strong. Don't to lose hope. I got your back. Yes. Because the eye doctor says that. I, I, I heard what the doctor said, Inuko. But I believe God is going to restore your sight. Amen. Oh. Amen. I'm, I'm praying for the same thing. Because did you get any news about Francis? Hmm. Francis is in this hospital. Huh? Yes, he's in this hospital. Hey, how is he? Francis' condition is very bad. Oh my God. Oh God. I am gradually dying. I am drawing closer to my grave every passing minute. But how do I go to my grave with this secret? It is a very heavy body. I must find a way to let the secret out. I can't reveal the secret to my wife. No. No, 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 I can't. Hmm. Francis. Hey. Hey, Mika. Hmm? Can I confide in you? You know you can always confide in me. You do? Hey, Mika. Hmm? I have a secret that I want to share with you. Secret. And it has been a heavy burden on me. So, I need to let it out. But on no account must you reveal the secret to anyone. Francis. Please. You can always count on me. You have my word. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. Nurse. About 15 years ago. Okay, 
good evening. Good day. <laughs> you are Mrs. Uzoma? Yes. My name is Emeka. I was the one that called you on the phone. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, thank you so much. No God will bless you. No God will bless you. How is he doing? I believe you'll be fine by God's grace. Emeka, how is Richard? Richard's case has gone from bad to worse. Richard is now blind. Blind? How come? I don't know. This is very strange. The eye doctor confirmed that he is blind. But he said he can see again uh, through Konya's transplant. The, the challenge now is who is going to donate his or her eyes to him? That's the problem. Yeah, I don't know where we can get donors. Darling. Yes. Richard is a very nice person. Mm -hmm. Do I just met him. It was so easy for us to become friends. He is a wonderful soul. Please, I need you to go see him. Please, I need you to go sympathize with him on my behalf. Tell him I said he should take heart. Okay. Okay. Um, Miss Ameka, can you can you take me there? Uh, Ameka. Please just show her the place and, and come back, please. But I should come back. Yes. Jesus, I will never forget what you died for me. Jesus, I will never forget how you set me free. Jesus. Hello? Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry if I startled you. It's, it's not a doctor. Uh, my, my name is Mercy. I'm, I'm the wife of Francis Uzoma. Oh, hey. Um, Mercy, when, when did you arrive? When did you get here? Um, a, a few hours ago. Oh. How, how are you? I, I'm, not, I'm not good, though, but I'm, 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 I'm trying. I thank God, thank God for my life. Hey, Mercy, yeah? Francis has been telling me a lot about you. He, he told me that you had the best thing to have happened to him. He, he was even telling me about how you people met when, when we had the accident. How, how, how is Francis even doing? He's fine. I, I, I believe he'll pull through. He's actually the one that asked me to come check up on you. Oh, Francis. Oh, Francis. Beautiful soul. Even in his pain, he's so he's so concerned about how I'm doing. Oh, Francis. I'm just trusting God, trusting God for my healing, and especially for my sight. So I can be able to see again. Yes, I, I heard you have some challenges with your eyes. Yes. I, I can't see anything. I can't, I can't see anything. Everything is just black to me. Even you, I don't even know how you look. I can't even see you. I believe that God will heal me. No, they say the thing you, you fear in life the most is what usually happens to you. My whole life I, I feared being blind. But now blindness has come upon me. I believe you will be fine. I'm trusting God, oh? Yeah. Tell Francis that you should trust God. You'll be fine too. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Thank you for coming to see me, okay? Yeah, it's fine. And tell Francis, you should be strong. Yeah? I, be strong. I I will tell him. It's okay. Just just. Emeka. Please tell Richard to look after Mercy for me. In case, in case I don't make it. Ooh. Stop being pessimistic. 
You will be fine. Nothing will happen to you. Nothing is going to happen to you. Mr. Ozama, hope you are doing good. The pains in my chest has refused to stop. I told you not to worry. Gradually, the pains will subside. Okay? But you also need to do yourself a favor. Stop forcing yourself to talk. And you'll gradually get better. One more thing, doctor. I learned Richard needs corneas and optic nerve to see again. Oh, Richard in what A? Oh, oh, yes, the ophthalmologist said so. I'm leaving my eyes an optic nerve for him. What? He can also have my brain cells. What? In case I do not survive this. What are you even saying, babe? Stop it. I mean, look at you. You're okay. In no time, you'll be you'll be hell and hardy. Just please stop saying nonsense. Just get well soon so we can go. I've told you to be positive. You'll be fine. Nothing is going to happen to you. Please, doctor. I need a pen and a paper. I want to sign giving my organs legally to Richard in case I do not make it. Richard, are you sleeping? No. I'm awake. Wait, 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 where did you go to? I, I was calling you, but nobody answered. Mm. I was with Mrs. Ozama. Mrs. Ozama? Francis. Ah, uh, Francis' wife. Yes. There's bad news. What? What bad news? Francis is dead. What? What? He died a couple of minutes ago. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why Francis now? Why? Why Francis? Oh God. I know his wife. His wife. She must be in real pain right now. She must be very devastated right now. Francis asked that you should take care of his wife for him. That was his last wish before he died. Me? How can Francis ask me to take care of his wife? I'm blind. I'm completely blind. I, I, I may not be, even be able to take care of myself, let alone take care of somebody else. How can he ask that of me now? Francis gave you his eyes. What, what did you just say? Francis knew he was going to die. He made a uh, legal a written note giving you his eyes. So you stand the chance of seeing her again. No. No, no, no. This is, this is unfair. This is unacceptable. I don't have to be able to see again at the, at the, at the expense of Francis' life. You don't expect him to be happy because I'm, go, go, I'm going to have the possibility of being able to see again at the expense of Francis' life. No! Francis, no! Francis should live. Let me be blind. No! I will not take those eyes. Are you the one that killed I will not take those eyes! Are you the one that killed Francis? Are you the one that killed Francis? Francis wanted you to be happy. He knew he was going to die. So he gave you his eyes and his organ to live. That's why he, he said you should take care of his wife for him. Did you kill Francis? Francis has died. Do, 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 you want, do you want me to lose you? Eh? Do you want to die too?
Ik heb mijn ook mijn wijs nog. See you. I can see things, but I don't see things clearly. What is the color of my shirt? Red. Red. Actually, it's pink. That is good. It shows the cornea transplant was successful. But I got the answer wrong. I would have been surprised if you got it correctly. Your vision will come good with time. For now, you have a blurry vision, but it will become clearer soon. Okay. How long, doctor? Mm. You'll get back your vision in a week time. That's not bad. That's not bad. Thank you, doctor. No, don't thank me. Thank God. Oh, thank God. You're right. Honey, sorry. Sorry. Uh, ow, sorry. Uh, what happened to you? Uh, ow, oh, careful. Long, uh, long story. Really? I didn't hear from you since you left for Abuja. We never made it to Abuja. Are you serious? So what happened because you went all silent on me? I had a lot of thoughts going through my mind. I uh, lost my phone. I lost virtually everything. You mean his family feast a date for his funeral without consulting you, his wife? <sighs> my dear. What do I say? I mean, I didn't give their brother a child, so they possibly don't even care about me. It's always the woman who bear the brunt in marriage without a child. <sighs> but, Nasi, what about the man your husband gave his eyes to? What about him? I mean, have you heard anything from him? Hmm, I haven't. I don't even know if the transplant was successful. Are you saying the transplants could fail? Of course it could fail. Do you wish it failed? I'm so sorry, my love. I didn't know. And there I was thinking that maybe you were with another woman. That's why you went all silent on me. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were struggling for your life. Look, I, I didn't inform you because, you know, even after I, I, I had the surgery done and I just, I just didn't want you to come and have a pity party. I didn't want you to come and start to cry inconsolably because I know you would have done that. But still, you should have informed me. I should have been there with you at the hospital. And when you lost your sight, I should have been your eyes. Not just go on silent on me like that. But thank God, thank God you're fine. Thank God, thank Francis. Yeah, thank Francis. Okay, Emeka. It's so good to finally see your face. Madness is a very terrible thing. You will not want to wish it on your worst enemy, man. Hey! I'm telling you. I thank God for a successful transplant, too. <sighs> I am forever grateful to Francis. I can't thank him enough. I'm eternally grateful to him. <laughs> but hope you have not forgotten what he demanded of you. 
Look, uh, Emeka, I've, 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 been, I've been thinking about something. Yeah, what is it again? His wife. Do you think she will want to see my face? You know what I'm saying? Do you think she will want to see me, look in my eyes, see my face? Mm. Mm -mm. Why do you ask? My eyes, they are, they are Francis' eyes. You know, looking at me and still remembering that past of her husband still live inside of me. You know, I, I benefited from Francis' death. Her loss became my gain. Inya, let me tell you, if I were you, I would remove all those rubbish from your head. Hurriedly now, quickly go and see the woman. You owe that to Francis. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, but how do I even find her? I mean, do you have a number? Do you know where she stays? How do we even get her? That's another thing, you know. It's very bad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ah! Stop! Stop! That's Mercy! Stop! Who is Mercy? Mercy? Uh, Francis' wife? Mercy! Good to finally see you! Um, have I... have we met before? It's me! Uh, Richard? Francis? Ah! Oh my god! It's you! Yes, it's me! You... you can see! Yes, I can see clearly all thanks to Francis. I'm so happy your transplant was successful. Yes, it was. It was. Yay. Wow, it's so nice to see you. Hello, how are you? How, how, how did you even recognize me? Because... I don't know. I just saw you. I just knew it was you. Look, it's really, really nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you too. I don't know, but I, I, I would like to talk to you again. Maybe see you again. I hope you don't mind. I have your number and oh, maybe oh, your okay, address. Fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, what's... Uh, is it zero eight zero? Zero eight zero. One three one five five one one. Five one two two three. Okay. All right. Zero eight five one one two two three four four. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. I see. Oh. Who is he? It's the guy Francis gave his eyes. Oh my God. But Mercy, is that why you were looking into his eyes? As if your life depended on them. Nah, I wasn't yes. looking. I wasn't looking into his eyes. I, 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 I will not allow you to accuse me one day. I just, I want to be left alone, okay? Please. Uh. Uh, did I do anything wrong? Nothing. I just want to be left alone to think, you know? Think about what? Think about Francis. Think about Mercy, you know? Babe, Francis is gone, okay? Can we just... Baby, baby, please, 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 not now, please. I said, not now. Come on. Um. Okay. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. <clears throat> How are you? I'm good. What's up? Babe, I... I saw you yesterday, chatting with some woman in front of Victory Crescent. Who is she? Oh. Oh, uh, that was, um, Francis' wife. 
you know, Francis, the good oh. Samaritan, who gave me his eyes. Uh, I told you that he demanded that I take care of his wife, so yeah. I just went to see her. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. It's just that she moved on so fast. <laughs> I saw the way she was chatting with you with such vivacious spirit. <laughs> Who would have thought that she just lost her husband? Yeah. She is a very strong woman, a great spirit. Uh, Francis told me much about her. He told me how she was, uh, she's a wonderful woman. Mm. And uh, they were deeply in love. You should have heard some of the love stories. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Just like the way we are. Deeply in love, uh, baby, too. No, no, no. Come on, man. You, uh, not now, please. Not now, you know? So yeah. What is the problem? It's all like you. You haven't even touched me since you got back from the hospital. Baby, come on. Come on. Understand me. I was right there, sitting right there with Francis when the accident took place. He lost his life. I survived. I could not even see. Now I can see it all thanks to, to Francis. I'm, I'm still trapped in that moment. I'm still uh, uh, tortured by the, the, that horrific moment. Yeah. That, 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 what, what happened? Just, just give me some time, you know? Just... I just, I just need some time. Please, just understand me. Yeah, true. Sorry. It's just that I kind of like miss you, you know? Yeah, I know, but just, uh, maybe just, you know, just, uh, I, uh, just some time, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, some time. Good. Yeah, just yeah. stay right there, mm -hmm. you know? You know, I owe you and Francis my life. Why'd you say that? I mean, what is life without being able to see? <sighs> it's not that bad. Yes, it is. Blindness is not a limitation. <laughs> well, true. Thank you for the meal. Oh, come on, you're welcome. It's nothing. I heard that um, <clears throat> Francis' last wish was for me to take care of you. Apparently, yes. I don't know why he would think that I'm not capable of taking care of myself. I'm surprised he would say that. <laughs> so you, you know? That was the last thing he said. Why do, you, why do you always look right into my eyes? I'm sorry, nothing. Are you seeing another woman? About what? You heard me right. You were with another woman in a restaurant yesterday. What were you two doing? And don't you dare lie to me. Annabelle, that was mercy. Mercy, mercy, Francis, mercy. And so, is she not a woman? I didn't say she wasn't a woman. What I'm saying is that Francis' wife, the man who gave enough, enough, his... enough, enough, enough. You see, I am just sick and tired of that line. I am sick and tired of it. Did he help you just so you can go around town gallivanting with his wife? Huh? You took her to a fancy restaurant. When was the last time you took me out, huh? When was the last time we spent quality time? Every time I demand for it, you're always telling me that you don't, you're not in the mood, you are busy. But when it comes to messing, you are so in the mood. Annabelle, I don't think you really appreciate what Francis did for me. Oh God. Because if I had come back to you, a blind man, you would never have been there for me. What? Look, baby, what I'm saying is that Francis wants me Francis to... wants you to what? Huh? Francis wants you to what? What is it? 
Francis this, Francis that. Francis wants you to what? Why are you so obsessed with a dead man? Huh? I thought you were going home. You left your door open. Did I? Yeah, you did. Uh, oh, oh, my friend, he just left. I think he forgot to close it. Babe, I came to apologize to you. I am really sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's just that got so worried. Worried about what? Worried that you no longer see me as a woman. I am a woman, babe. I know. You know? And show me. Show me that you still miss me. It's not getting up. What do, what do you mean it's not getting up? No, I've tried. We, we tried. This is the first time it's, it's, it's happening to me. You know what? I think maybe it's because you're stressed. Are you sure? No, I just want you, okay? Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Let's just stop. Let's just stop. Baby, you usually just look at me and you have an erection already. What's going on? I know, but I don't know what's going on. I, this is shocking to me. Maybe I just, I don't know, I don't know. What are you doing? Are you just going to get up and leave? Maybe I don't know what else to do. It's not, it's not getting up. I, I feel embarrassed. Babe, we're in the middle of something. Don't worry, I think maybe you just need to relax, okay? Maybe, just you know, relax. That's all. On, please, 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 please. <laughs> just stop. Maybe I should get a drink or something. What do you think? Do you want a drink? Hope you're not trying. Say something. Actually, I'm sorry. I... Excuse me. Uh -uh. Listen to me, you harlot, whatever your name is. Do not think you can use this pity party of yours to steal my man away from me. What are you talking about? <laughs> you clearly know what I am talking about. The next time I will see you anywhere around Richard, I won't be this gentle. Excuse me. Rubbish. What were you telling me on the phone? I have never been so embarrassed in my entire life. And I've been made a public spectacle out there. Look, I, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry. What happened? You were sorry. I've never had to fight another woman over a man, and I don't intend to start now. If she doesn't believe that you don't have anything with me, it is her problem. I beg you, please, leave me alone. Okay? I made a promise to Francis, and I'm a man of my word. I have to keep... I don't care what promise you made. You know what? Whatever promise you made my husband on his deathbed, you fulfilled it. It's fine. You don't owe me anything. I'm not an invalid. I'm an adult. I can take care of myself. So please, leave me alone. Get out. And please don't come back. Just, just, just go. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry again, Harris.
Um, you sure you don't want anything? No, I'm fine. Thank you. We have liquor in there. <laughs> so, and you don't strike me like a teetotaler. No, I'm not a teetotaler. I just don't want to drink. But you can have some if you want. Nah. I told Francis alcohol is not good for my legs. Uh, makes them spread. I am. Um... What are you working on? Oh, God, help me. I just, I was literally at the verge of slamming this laptop before you walked in. Why would you do that? I'm trying to get a file, and this file is actually passworded. It's my husband's laptop, but I need to get the file, and I don't know the password. <sighs> okay. Why don't you try 000333219? No, I'm actually not supposed to just put random password. No, it's not, it's not random. It's, uh, it's the password for this. Uh, particular file. I'm serious. Uh, you know what, just, just... Don't, Come don't... on, try it. Try and see. Just you know, one time, just try it. Okay. Say it again. Zero, zero, zero. Hmm? Three, 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 mm -hmm. two, one, nine. What? It opened! How, how did you know this? How? I don't know. How, how did you know this? Is it some sort of um, a magical code? No, it's not a magical code. I just, I just knew that's the Yeah, password. but how? I don't know. I mean, just like I know you have a mole on your left breast. Can you answer my question? Why are you always visiting her? Because Francis wanted me to. How many times do I have to explain to you that Francis demanded, yes, he demanded that I take care of her? At the expense of our relationship? Are you serious? The only day you couldn't even get your thing up. I thought that could check you into paying some attention into our relationship. But no, it didn't work. All I keep hearing is Francis. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Annabelle. Annabelle. Please. I, uh, I, I think I, I need a break. I need a break to sort out my emotions, Annabelle. I need a break, please. You need a break to sort out your emotions. Yeah. Don't tell me you're you're in love with Francis' wife. Well, honestly, I do uh, not know. I don't know what is going on. I, I, can't, I can't understand what is happening to me. What I do know, Annabelle, is that I need a break. Annabelle, listen to me. We, we need a break. Let's give ourselves it. a break. I knew it. You have been possessed by Francis through the organs that he gave you. And now he's pushing you towards his wife. This is not you, Richard. You have been manipulated by a dead person. What is going on? What is wrong with me? What is, what is going on with me? But then, I'm surprised that you know things about the BC that you're not supposed to know. I'm even more surprised. I'm telling you, like, I don't know how I was able 
to identify Mercy without ever seeing her before. Annabelle is even thinking that uh, Francis has used his eyes to possess me. Ah, why would she think of something like that? Because I don't feel anything for anybody else but Mercy. I'm not attracted to Annabelle anymore. Hey. That almost makes you disgust me. I don't even want to see her face. Like, I don't know what's happening to me. Huh. This is serious. Uh, Annabelle hey. is even thinking that Francis might be trying to manipulate me through his eyes because he wants me to take care of his wife. But do you think it's possible? Do you, do you, do you think it's possible that Francis could use his, his eyes to, 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 pos to possess me and, 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 and try to, to make me to fall in love with, with, with his wife? But see, now you look my eye like that now. <laughs> I want to confirm now if I will see the same thing that Annabelle is seeing in your eyes. Okay, answer, no. answer. But I don't mm -hmm. think this is a question that me can answer because I only have physical eyes. I, there is a shrink that I will take you to. A very powerful shrink. You got the point now? So the only person that I know that can answer you, that has the right answer to your question, is a shrink. I will take you to see the shrink. That is where you will get the correct answer to your question. Shrink. Because I don't I'm not seeing anything in these eyes. What do you mean say I look in the mirror, I don't see anything in my eyes. <laughs> you cannot see ya see. Hello. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm great, I'm great. I uh I came to check on something around here and I thought I'd come and see how you're doing. Okay, that's thoughtful. Thank you. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, I just, uh, I just, I miss you. I mean, it's nice to see you again. Oh, okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. You look kind of tense. Like, is something wrong? Wait, is something... Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. It's just that... Okay. I was in there. Um, so, there's this land that um, Francis and I bought about five years ago. I have searched everywhere for the document and I can't find it. I mean, the, it costs us a lot of money and, you know, if I'm trying to sell it, I need the documents and literally I don't want a stranger encroaching on the land. You know, so it's just so frustrating. I don't even think it's in this house. Uh, did you check in the blue box you kept your, the dress Francis bought for you, uh, your last wedding? Get out of here. How do you even know that I, I have a blue box in this house? I don't know why, it just, just came to me that you had uh, a blue box and uh, the, oh the document might be in the blue box. You were so scary. Stop. You're creeping me out. I don't understand what's happening. I just, I just get these uh, thoughts, you know, just like images, just flashes, just come to me every time. when. Anyway, um, I have checked it. And it's not there. I mean, inside the, the, the dress itself, the dress you kept in the blue box. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um but I checked this bag. How is that even?
Why are you staring at me? Because you're beautiful. Very beautiful. Tell me, do you like me? If I didn't like you, I wouldn't be in bed with you. Hmm. <laughs> you know, one of the things I like about you is the way you smile. Oh. You smile like a child. Me smile like a child? I'm telling you. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I've been meaning to ask you something. Um, do you know if uh, Francis ever had a child somewhere? A child? No. He didn't. Okay. Why do you ask? No, it's okay. So, Doctor, what, what, what is wrong with me? Nothing serious is wrong with you. The result of your test is out. Hey, take a look. You are pregnant. Congratulations. I'm what? You are pregnant. Congratulations. Pregnant? Yes. I'm two weeks gone. Who is responsible for the pregnancy? It's Richard. Have you told him about it? Hell no. Tell him. This is a mistake. It shouldn't have happened. Oh, God. I thought you said you like him. Yes, but not enough. Not, not that I should go get pregnant for him. I got married seven years. I didn't give my husband a child. And now, just a few months after his death, one touch from another man, I'm already pregnant. I mean, don't you think that the world would, would laugh at me? Would you think Francis would say? He would say that I didn't want to have a child for him. Messi. You don't have to look at it like that. But, but that's what it is. Um, the doctor certified Francis okay. But what happened? Never for once did I get pregnant. I, and now this. Please, stop blaming yourself for not having a child for him. It's not your fault. See, I don't know what you intend doing with your child in your womb. But please, make sure you inform Richard about it. Yes. That's not going to happen. No, you don't get it, do you? I do, I do. You should realize the mess I'm in. Please, calm down. Just tell him, please. Please, I beg you. <gasps> please, please, calm down. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I've called to tell you something very important. What is it? I... Hey, hey there. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Richard, please, I call to tell you to stay away from me, okay? Thank you for all the love and support, but at this point, it's enough. I don't want to see you anymore. I'm totally capable of taking care of myself, and I just don't want your interference. Are you kidding me, right? I'm not. I'm serious. Leave me the hell alone. And please don't show your face ever around me again, please. 
Are you sure you did not offend her? Are you sure you didn't do something wrong to her? What could, could I have possibly done? What? I think she's doing what she's doing because... because of her late husband. Her late husband? How do you mean? I think um, I... Um, I make it much more difficult for her to get over the death of her late husband. I remind her every time she sees me of her late husband. Do, do, do you think it has something to do with your eyes? Anaki. Yeah, my eyes, but not just my eyes. It's uh, the fact that I know things, you know? I, 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 strange things, things that only her husband should know. And I, I think every time she sees me, it's like she's seeing her husband. And that's why she even gave me her body the other day, yeah. <laughs> she gave you her body. Yeah, she gave me her body, but I'm just hoping she's not regretting it. Richard, when did this happen? About two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, she gave you her body. Yeah. You had sex with her two weeks ago. And she called you now to tell you that you should stay away from her. I think there's something she's not telling you. Think so? I know so. Think about it. Is Mercy here? Mercy is not around. She traveled. Traveled? Yes. Did she tell you where she was traveling to? No, she just told me this morning that she was traveling and she doesn't even know when she's coming back. What? Her phone is off. Uh, do you know if there was a problem? Did something happen? No, not at all. I don't think so. Oh my God. Okay, thank you. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? I'm sure. Once my visa comes out, I'll go to London and I'll never return. Instead of running away, why don't you stay back and deal with this situation? Deal with what situation? Deal with my husband's people who will find out that I'm pregnant for a man that their son donated his organs to? The shame! Have you thought about that? And so what? Francis is dead. You need to move on. I was married to my husband for seven years and not once did I get pregnant. And suddenly I'm pregnant for the man he gave his organs to. What do you think people will say? But it wasn't that you didn't want to give him a child. The child didn't just come. So why blame yourself? You don't understand. Listen, I feel like Francis is going to... I feel like I betrayed him. I feel like he's, he's not happy about it and he might just decide to... to Torment Richard, myself, and the baby. Come on. Please stop this, your fairy tale. Excuse me. Let me check who's at the door. Did you know I'm here? And don't you dare tell me you just knew. Oh, that's the 
ones that I just knew. I told you to stay away from me. I told you, so why are you here? What do you want? I'm here to understand why are you avoiding me? Why? It doesn't matter. The point is leave me alone, just go. I, I know you're angry right now. I know like your mood is bad, but I will go and I'll be back. Even if you go to London, I will find you. You go to the ends of the world, I will find you. And I just want you to know, wherever you go, wherever you go, wherever you choose to go, I'll find you. Can't you see we're stuck together? What do you mean by that? It's okay. Don't worry about it. I'm pregnant. What did you just say? I'm carrying your child. So you called mercy 15 times and you couldn't even call me today to know how I was doing. And you expect me to believe that you're not having any feelings for this woman. I don't know what's going on. I haven't been in the right state of mind. I don't know what's happening. I see flashes of her. It's like I have known her for so long. Ah, I can see she has just you. So you now see flashes of her and you see Dean of me. Maybe that's not what I'm trying to say. Come you know on. what? In fact, I think I have a solution to all this nonsense. You see flashes of her and Dean of me. All right, it's fine. What are you doing? What? What, what, babe? You wanted to do this, right? I'm ready now to put a ring on it. Baby, come on. Why are you, why are you contemplating? Why are you acting like this is not something you wanted, you wanted to do? Just go ahead and put it, please. Can we just talk about this? So we should talk about it. Are you for real? You're leaving my hand hanging and you're telling me we should talk about it. Wait, okay. So you don't want to do it, right? Where are you going off to? Maybe you want to go meet Mercy again. You see flashes of her and dream of me, right? You can't do it. You better come back or you better just come back. We have to finish this. We, you better come back. Waiter. Yes, Please, no, no, get no, no, no. Okay, I don't want to drink anything. Wait, it's fine. Fine. You, you, you look sober. What's the problem? Did you see her? Mercy is pregnant. She's, she's carrying my child. Mm -hmm. and, my and she's not so happy about it. She feels as though she's betrayed Francis. Really? Yeah. She keeps wondering why she stayed with Francis for seven years and they tried to have children. She couldn't get pregnant. But she met me just in a short time and after one time of being together, she's pregnant. I mean, the doctor told her that Francis was medically fit to have children. And what do you do you tell her? I told her it's God who gives children. Maybe God didn't want her to have a child through Francis. And I also asked her to marry me. You asked her to what? I asked her to marry me. Oh, so what did she say? She declined. Why would she decline? I think she just wants to deal with the whole pregnancy thing before she can think about other things. <sighs> I don't know. This is more serious than I thought. Richard, are you sure you don't want one bottle to cool down your nerve? Oh, man, I don't want to drink. <sighs> I did my best. But my best wasn't good enough. I'm glad you are in a happy place and I make provision for that. 
I want you to know that I will always be with you. I'm always in your corner. Don't lie to her, Francis. Just say the truth. Say the truth and she will not hold it against you. I did my best. I did my best. Just say the truth. Say the truth. Say the truth. Say the truth. And she will not hold it against you. Truth. 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 So it was a dream after all. And it felt so real. I told him to say the truth to her, but he walked away with guilt on his face. What did he lie about? What did he lie about? Hmm. Are you saying that Francis must have lied about something? That's what I figured out from the dream, and that's what I feel the dream is trying to tell me. My name is Emeka, and not Joseph. I cannot interpret dreams or what you want me to do for you. Look, Emeka, I strongly believe that the dream was trying to reveal something to me. I, I think, Emeka, Francis lied about something. Remember what the string said about uh, a child? Mm -hmm. Don't you think Francis has a child somewhere that his wife doesn't know about? But then I think we should ask his doctor. Or what do you think? How do I find his doctor? How do I even know who his doctor was? That should ask Mercy. Hey. Hi. Uh, listen, first of all, I want to thank you for coming back to your house and not going to London again. You don't have to thank me for anything. It's and, my house. And I um, want to ask you a favor. I mean, I want to ask you for something, information. Okay. Who was Francis' doctor? Richard, I hope this is not about the conversation we had the last time about him having a child outside. Maybe. Oh, gracious God. Listen, Francis is and one of the most honest people I have ever met. We don't keep secrets from each other. Okay? I trust him and, and you have nothing to worry about. Please, just give this issue a rest. Look, I know you trust your husband, your late husband, but can you just tell me who his doctor was? Because I strongly believe that there is something that Francis didn't say to you and his doctor knows about it. Dr. Ben Abu. What? Ben Agnostic? Yes, do you know him? So, young man, what can I do for you? I, uh, I actually came to ask uh, a favor of you, doctor. What kind of favor is that? Go on. Uh, it's about um, Francis Uzoma. I uh, believe you were his uh, personal doctor. Francis? Francis yes, sir. Francis. The late Francis Uzoma, right? Yes, exactly. The late Francis Uzoma. 
Yes, I was his doctor for a couple of years. Uh, what about him? Doctor, I, I believe uh, strongly that uh, Francis um, hid some things from his, his wife, uh, something that um, you uh, probably know about, uh, something medical. Mm. Young man, did, do you ask me to do you a favor? Yes, sir. And that's the door. Make use of it. I am busy. Doctor, look, I'm sorry if I came across the wrong way. I'm just trying to help. I believe that Francis uh, hid something from his, his wife, something that's very important. He hid something that pertains to a child from his wife, and I think she needs to know. That's why I'm, I'm seeking your help, sir. So why should I know about that? Why? Now, is there something wrong with your head, young man? No. Now, you get out of my office, office. I'm a busy man. Get out of my office. I am a busy man. Just trying to help, sir. I'm sorry about this. Get story. out! Okay, sir. I think Dr. Ben is hiding something. From his body language, he looked very uncomfortable when I asked him. I think there is more to what he, he, he even said to me. In the look of things, I, I think I have to talk to his daughter. Yes. She might be able to help me. For a drink? No. Get to it already. Okay, come on. Uh, sit down. Please. Uh, <clears throat> um, uh, firstly, I want to um, apologize for all the way things uh, ended between the both of us. From my heart, I am. Sincerely sorry. Well, you don't need to be sorry, okay? I'm okay with the fact that we split it. I was sick and tired of dealing with your double personality. Okay, that hurts. But on a more serious note, I was getting tired. Seriously though, body of Richard, eyes of Francis. Okay, um, let me just uh, go straight to the point. Right. I was at your father's hospital today. My father's hospital? What for? I have a strange feeling that uh, Francis Uzoma lied about something. Something. Uh, who is? Francis Uzoma. The man who gave me his eyes. Oh, you mean the man that, um, the dead man that possessed you? Look, Annabelle, just stop it. Nobody possessed me. Really? As I was saying, um, Francis Uzoma lied about something. I need to find out. And how does that concern my father? I believe your father knows what Francis lied about. I see. So, does my father know him? Your father was his personal doctor. So? Your father refused to talk to me about it. In fact, uh, he walked me out of his office today. Oh, so what you want me to do is to get information from my father for you. Because if that is what...
really want from me, it's not going to work Sweet because I can't. Sweetheart, please, I... Look, I, I, I really need your help, darling. Please, just... I need you to do this for me, please. See, my father is a very confidential person. There's no way he's going to give me that information. It's, it's best you should just go to Francis' wife. She's in the best position to go meet my father herself. The thing is, Francis' wife doesn't believe that he could lie about anything. But I, I know what I, I, I feel, what I believe. Francis had some skeletons in his cupboard that he was lying about. And I think your father knows about them. Look, I, I, I believe it, it has to do with, look, I believe it has to do with something with a child or so. I think Francis had a child outside, you know, and he kept it from his wife. And I, I, I believe that your father, who being his personal doctor, knows about it. I need your help. Well, I'm sorry. I, I, I can't help you. I can't. Oh, God. I don't know how I'm even going to solve this, boss, because I, I need to fix it. I just, I just need to fix it. I have some understanding, some clarity. Oh, God. You know, if you're really sure about what you just said, I'm sure his um, information will be in his medical file. My father is a very thorough person and is very detailed with the smallest things, so I'm sure she he may have it in his office or something. How do we get the file? How do we get his medical file? Favor, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm fine. Please. You know I was the one that recommended you to my father, right? Of course, I know that. So please, I need a small favor from you. What is it? Tell me, how did it go? I'm afraid I did not succeed. What happened? I searched for the file. In fact, the file is not in the file room. What do you mean you couldn't find the file? Where else could the file be? Well, since you said the man is late, okay. the file could only be in one place. And where is that? in your father's office, and you and I know that's a no-go area for me. All right, thank you. I'll just, um, I'll just find my way around it. Thank you, and right. um, sorry for the inconvenience. No problem, it's fine. Good day, Miss Annabelle. Hi, Nurse Falake. Is my father around? No, he's attending to a patient in the labor room. All right. Um, you know what? I'll just wait for him in a second. Okay. Office. You're welcome.
Annabelle. Um, yes, Dad. Uh, Annabelle, what are you doing in my office? Um, what are you hiding behind you? Dad, um, I actually, um, <laughs> Daddy, I came to celebrate you. Annabelle, what are you hiding behind your back? <laughs> Daddy? Yeah. It's like you've forgotten. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday, oh. my dear dad. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, Daddy. Thank you so much. Wow. This is... Really? Oh, Are you going to open wow. my gift? Yes, because it was given to me by my beautiful daughter. <laughs> wow. I like it. Wow. Ah, thank you Anytime, so much. Daddy. Oh, you see, work, 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 and I forgot my birthday. <sighs> you know what will happen, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. uh, I think we should we should have a get together in the evening. Sure, daddy. You'll arrange that, would you? Sure, daddy. Beautiful. <laughs> That's my daughter. And daddy, oh. sometimes you should get to relax, take time off, and just enjoy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll do that. I'll do that, I'll do that, I'll do that. You mean Richard asked you to marry him? Yes. So what did you tell him? I turned him down. But why? I thought you said you like him. Actually, I love him. And that scares me. Just, I mean, this guy, he seems to know the right things to say, the right things to do, how to make me happy. He knows so much about me. And that's really scary. I don't even know if he's real. He's too perfect. I don't know. I feel, I feel like there's something wrong, you know? Just imagine, just... Just one touch and I get pregnant. How many smiles does it take to be happy? How many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance? Coming. Before you get to meet someone like I'm coming. Did you get it? Come on, did, did Can you, you get just it? calm down? Okay, okay, I'm, I'm calm. Come here, come here, come here. <clears throat> okay. Calm down. Yes, I am calm. Calm. I got the farm. Oh, thank God. Thank God, thank God. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Baby, hey, what's the meaning of these things? I can't understand these medical terminologies. Can you just, you the nurse, can you just read it? I don't, I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> Well, his, his report here says that Francis is there, that he is impotent and won't be able to father a child. Wow. That is it. But he, he made mercy to believe that he was medically fit to father children. He even told me myself. The report here states that it's since 15 years ago. So, I don't know. Wow. So, Francis knew about 15 years ago that he couldn't father children and he... He didn't tell Mercy. He... He lied. He, he made Mercy to believe that he could. He... He hated for Mercy and he married her. 
Men has come. Wow. Michael, Richard, what's the problem? You sounded so worried on the phone. Oh, I'm also. Francis Uzoma was impotent. Yes, he was impotent and he knew he was impotent even before he married Mercy. He made Mercy to believe that he was medically fit to have children. He knew he was impotent. And did you find out? You find this is Francis' medical file. I snipped it from the hospital. Read it. Read it. Richard, calm down. What's right? Calm, calm down. down. He lied to Mercy. He knew Mercy that I wanted to have children. He, he, he lied to Mercy. Richard, calm down. Francis confided his secret to me and asked me not to reveal it to anyone. About 15 years ago, I was involved in a motorcycle accident. And my reproductive organs were seriously affected. So, I became sterile afterwards, meaning I would not have been able to get any woman pregnant. Hey. 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 Sorry about that, to Francis. Sorry, oh. Thank you. Years later, I met my wife, Mercy. I fell deeply in love with her. <laughs> and I desired to have her for the rest of my life. So, I proposed to her. And she accepted. But the fear of losing her, if she knows that I'm important, made me keep it a top secret. <clears throat> so I connived with the doctor to tell her that I'm very fertile. And she believed it. <laughs> I don't mean to judge you, but if you ask me, this is the height of deception. Especially to somebody you love. Hey. Bam, 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 bam. I know I've wronged her deeply. And it is too late for me to tell her the truth. I can't tell her now. Because I don't want her to hate and detest me when I die. What will happen to you? Oh? What will happen to you? A business. A business. I love her so much. And I don't want her to hate me. I want her to continue to love me when I'm gone. So, I can't tell her, but I'm the cause of her seven years of childlessness in a marriage. <laughs> So you say, he didn't want to take the secret to the grave. That's why he had to tell me. 
been carrying this body in all this while. Thank God I finally let it out. It's time I, it's time I see me see. My mind skips. I don't know how, uh, I don't know how she will feel knowing that I've been carrying this kind of secret with all the need from her all this while. Hold on. Hey. Hi. 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 Is everything okay? Please sit. Um, Is everything okay? Um, Rashi, I, I, I came to tell you something about Francis. And it's, uh, it's a little troubling. I just uh, want you to take it easy. What about Francis? Look, Francis, Francis was sterile. What? Yes, he was important. He couldn't have children. And he knew before he got married to you. No, listen, he connived with his doctor to make you believe that he was medically fit to Just have children. Just stop it. Stop, stop right there. What's, what's all this? What are you even saying? I just want you to know the truth. Are you so, kidding me? I would not lie on a dead man. Are you trying to make me see my late husband as a bad person? Is that it? No. So why would you even say something like that? Because I just want you to know the truth. You are the same person who told me that he, he, you feel he has a child outside. So why are you suddenly changing your story? Because he confessed to a Mecca on his dying bed. And I also have the medical report. I have his medical report. Look, the medical report states that Francis was important. It's written in the report, black and white, that he was sterile. Look, oh the only reason I'm saying this to you is because I don't want you to go on thinking that you're barren. I don't want you to go on thinking that you cannot have children. I, I just felt it was my duty to let you know. I'm sorry. So what, what do we name him? Francis. Why Francis? I met you through Francis. He left for me to have all of you. He also gave me his eyes so that I could see you. It is too easy. What do you think? Francis, it is then. We are today. Whatever you say.
all in all, I just want to say sorry about the way things ended between us. I don't know what came over me. I don't know what it is. I still can't understand. But I know I'm truly sorry. You look different. Yeah. I feel different, actually. Feel myself again. Hey, won't you stay a little bit longer? I'm sorry, it didn't mean to, but I heard you cannot undo it. So please stay. Show you that I 